Today I am going to share with you a little bit more another port stop from our British Isles cruise that we took on the beautiful Regal Princess. We went June of 2024 and it was truly an amazing voyage. The ports were excellent. We enjoyed every moment to the point where I feel like I want to do it again. So today I am going to tell you about our port stop in Cove, Ireland. I'm going to take you along and let you know what excursion we took, um, what happened on that excursion, and just everything so that if you get to go you will have a point of reference, know a little bit about what to expect there, as well as if you don't get to go, come along with me today. I'd love to have you join me, so let's go ahead and get started. Hi there, this is Allison with Let's Go Travel Tips. And like I said, today we are going to talk about our stop in Cove, Ireland. C-O-B-H is how they spell it, but when you pronounce it there, they can pronounce it Cove. And on the itinerary, it says that Cork, Ireland, and then Cove for Blarney Castle. So if you wanted to go to Blarney Castle, this is the port stop for you. We decided to do something different because uh, something else I thought would be really um, fun to do. And so we ended up booking an excursion that was called Rock of Cashel, the V, and Lismore. And so we started off, um, we of course, you know, you get off the ship and you're there in your group, you go get on your bus and off you go on your, you know, bus tour for the day. The tour guide that we had was excellent, did a really, really good job, made the day a lot of fun, and we learned an awful lot. So I high marks to our tour guide, really did a good job. Um, she was excellent. Now, um, first off, our first stop was called um, a place in Lismore. Now, um, the scenery all the way, the entire day was absolutely beautiful. And so we stopped in this little tiny town called Lismore. You could walk down and see a castle it was beautiful but you could also walk into the little town and for some reason when I stop in a little town I not only like to see like the castle place but I love to see the town on the hopes that I'll get a little bit of a feel for that village as well as meet some of the people and uh, today was a special day because right in the center there as you're walking from where the bus let us out to walk into town Right there was the um, Lismore Heritage Center. So we went in and they had some heritage items and things about their town and a gift shop type area where you could get some souvenirs, things like that. And they had just a couple of um, employees or workers there that day. One of them was this amazing lady. And she is not only kind of an historian there, she is truly an all around amazing person. So she told me a lot about the town there of Lismore. She gave me a lot of information about this heritage there, things to look for during our visit to Ireland. She was really sweet and did a little um, short thing to put up on her Instagram page with the two of us. We had such a nice visit and she truly made our stop in Lismore extra special. In fact, we spent so much time visiting with her that we didn't end up walking down to the castle at the end of the road and I didn't even mind. That is what a nice visit we had there. So we got a feel for the town, walked around, beautiful. They have beautiful flowers everywhere there. It was June and um, I, that's one thing I noticed about everywhere that we went on our entire British Isle cruise so many beautiful flowers everywhere we went they took good care so we thoroughly enjoyed that then we got back on um the bus again and went on a longer drive and so we went to where they call the V. Now as you think of going on a bus ride you know sometimes you're just on an interstate and but not very often when you go um, places on these kind of tours. So we were just on your regular think of like two lane roads and we were going up and down um, kind of up some high hills down again and then you get truly to the place that they call the V and it is the way the valleys come together and it is a really special place so as you're driving all along all along the road and you can see out over the meadows when there's nothing on the hedge on the way there are these beautiful beautiful purple flowers she said they're rhododendrons and she said that we were there the perfect week to see the most of them so that was a real treat so you see this beautiful beautiful green um, with these beautiful purple flower bushes it was just spectacular and the V um, we got to get out walk around for a minute take pictures it was absolutely beautiful you know every once in a while I tell you all that you know you go to a place and you stop there and just the way um, 
this is the way I say it, just the way that it feels there, just the way the wind blows, that the breeze feels against you, and you look around and take in the whole vista, it's like you're soaking up a little bit more than just a place you stop and get off the bus and look around and get back on. It's one of those places that kind of soaks into you and then you take it with you when you go. I can still feel that place. It is remarkable and so absolutely beautiful. Definitely worth the ride and it was a little bit um, of a bus ride, you know, to get there and then we carried on on our way um, further on the tour that we were on, but what beautiful, beautiful scenery we saw. And you know, I knew that Ireland would be beautiful but I had no idea. I have never seen green like that in my entire life. And I've been a lot of places. So I need to go back to Ireland. I have to go back to Ireland. But anyway, so then we carried on and um, went through more beautiful, beautiful countryside and ended up in the village there where the Rock of Cashel is. So Google the Rock of Cashel. It's C-A-S-H-E-L and they pronounce it Rock of Cashel. That's how they say that there. And it is really, it is really the ruins of this castle from a long, long time ago. It is the traditional seat of the Kings of Munster, um, and like clear up until the fifth century before the Normans came. And it is actually marks the place where they say that the King of Munster was converted by St. Patrick, and that was in the fifth century. So it's a really special place. They've got this amazing cemetery, a whole graveyard, um, um, that is just so beautiful and so picturesque. It's everything. Think of what you would think of a castle in the British Isles and especially in Ireland where everything is so very green and those the Irish people are passionate. They are amazing people. And so think of that and what you would see in a graveyard and indeed it was all there. So you, we got to walk um, up and down some steps and go into some of the ruins and then walk around the um, headstones and that whole graveyard there and really enjoy it. Of course, there were crows, just like you would expect there to be, or ravens. I was, I'm not sure if they were ravens or crows, but it was a really, really cool day. So we spent our time up there and really soaked it in. And I love tours like this because what they did is they dropped us off at this little car park. And then she said, you walk along, you know, the sidewalk here and then you turn and walk up the hill and it was a little bit of a steep hill but she um, gave us a lot of background there and people could take their time because some people want to zip right up the top of the hill other people want to take their time and then inside the castle and inside that graveyard and everything you really want to be able to take however long you want and so I love tours like that she came our tour guide came up and once everyone was up at the top there and um, kind of in that ruins area right there she gave us more history History, talk to us about that and then she just told everybody like what time to be back so you could really spend as long as you wanted within that time frame and she was very generous with the time that we got to spend there so that you could see everything you wanted to see and the way it is situated there is the vista all the way around the castle it's up on a rise like I said it was kind of a steep hill to walk up you can see 360 degrees around the castle and it what beautiful how beautiful it was I keep saying that but it was really truly that beautiful after we got done looking around there and seeing everything that we wanted to see. Uh, we walked down and um, started to walk into the town. We walked part of the ways in, saw some of the other, there's some ruins of a church there um, and just uh, lots of things to see. We just walked into the town again and walked further down the street this time and there was a grocery store. So in we went and ended up getting some Irish cheese to try and a little bit of bread and went out and they had picnic tables kind of in the, it's not the town square, but kind of they had a kind of a little town square area. So we just sat there and enjoyed our lunch. It was a little bit chilly, a little bit windy, but we thoroughly enjoyed it and we had a really nice lunch as well. So we just met back at the bus at the time that it was time to go. And then we just had a ride back to the ship but they took us through um, not I don't think it was quite the same way it seemed to me as we went back that the scenery was a little bit different still um, absolutely breathtakingly beautiful but they just took us back to the ship and um, we ended up getting off the ship and looking around they had some shops right there so know that if you go there to the town or the port I should say there of Cove um, for Cork Ireland 
that right next to right where the ship docks there they've got like a little inside area for shops and um, they don't stay open really long like by the time we got back because we'd had kind of a long day on our excursion we had at least an hour maybe two hours until it was time for all aboard we um, went in and already like the eating places were closed the ice cream place was closed like anything except for a few of the little gift shops so we went in there and got some presents for people and just enjoyed getting to see what all they have there and I would say the things that were really big that people would be interested in enjoying there is um, like knitted items things made of beautiful yarns they had those available that um, were for sale there they had a lot of like just your little kitschy things <laughs> that you find in a lot of places you know like your oven mitts and your earrings you know just little um four leaf clover earrings all the little things that you would kind of think of but they had a lot of beautiful things as well and so i just i just wanted to share the day with you and let you know that it was absolutely beautiful i don't think that um we had you know we didn't go see blarney castle that'll maybe wait for another time if ever but the rock of cashel is amazing it was absolutely breathtakingly beautiful and i am really glad that we chose that that day and um thanks for joining me today if you've got any questions feel free to put them in the comments and we'll watch for them and answer I and let me know in the comments if you've been to Ireland if you've been on a British Isles cruise if you want to even go a lot to think about so I'll be talking to you all again really soon you all take really good care God bless you love you bye bye